Hi, welcome to the Niels Homestead and today we're drying a bunch more fruit with the freeze dryer and we're doing a bit of a comparison between some of the frozen fruit and the fresh fruit including uh, frozen strawberries and mangoes and fresh strawberries and grapes and bananas. So I'm also going to finish prepping these grapes. We've got a pretty big pile of them there ready to go. I'm curious how these are. They have a lot of water in them and you know as grapes dry down into little raisins whenever you dehydrate them but they'll stay about this, this size for a dehydrate uh, freeze dryer so we'll see. I've heard it's helpful with grapes to cut them in half because they take a lot longer to dry through the skin even though these aren't very large grapes I bet they dry a lot faster. We've already cut up a couple of pretty good piles of stuff here. We've got a lot. It may be too much for one freeze dryer load. We'll see. We're also going to do a few bananas. I have heard with bananas though that they need to have lemon juice on them to keep them from oxidizing. They'll, they'll turn brown and so we'll, we'll put some dilute lemon juice on them here in a minute. I'm just going to put some water some lemon juice and then I'll put all the bananas in and mix them around. I don't want to make them too sour, so, but I just want enough to keep them from oxidizing and turning brown. So here's what we ended up with. We did one tray of mixed ones and then all the others are separate. We're going to do one batch of fresh and then we will do a batch of frozen. One thing we've learned about freeze drying is that it really speeds up the process to have everything pre-frozen. So we've started trying to put everything in the freezer and try to get it at least partially frozen. Finally it's done. These are the dried bananas. Uh, they didn't shrink very much. They're about the same. They're really light and shatter like normal. It breaks until it's really, really, really dry. Get them all broken loose from the parchment paper here. Now we'll look at the red grapes. And they did shrink a lot. They, they're they a little bit pliable still. They're not super crispy. I kind of wonder if they're not totally dry. What do you think? I don't know. They're not, they don't break at all. They just bend. Let me look at the green grapes and see what they're like. Visually, they're quite a bit different. Uh, they also bend. That one breaks. See that? That even is not quite as dry. I bet they're not dry yet. Here's the tray of just strawberries. They're really light and they break. I'm pretty sure these are totally dry. I think those grapes are not dry. Yeah, it, it doesn't bend, it just breaks. Here's the mixed tray. I'm curious if the grapes on this, no, they're, they're flexible too. I don't think they're dry yet. I think we're going to fish the strawberries out of this mixed tray because they all seem to be dry and we're going to put the grapes all back in for a longer cycle. This cycle that they've already been through has been over 46 hours of actual drying time. That doesn't count the freezing time so that's kind of crazy. To fill up the space in here, we're going to put something that's fairly short drying, and so we'll add Skittles in. We'll get these bagged up. Uh, we found one grape that was kind of off by itself and had dried more thoroughly, and it was crunchy. So I think that's the way they're supposed to be. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.